Hello everybody and welcome to Felts by Philippa. Today we're going to make these adorably cute little ladybirds and they will take you just under 30 minutes to do one. You can probably manage to do them a bit quicker, so let's get started. First off you're going to need red wool, not too much, white, uh, black wool and then some white wool. It's all carded, a pair of scissors, um, this is a wax cord, it's 1.5mm thick, you can get it thinner, that's to do the antennae. And then I have got, um, this is a 40 gauge triangle needle, just to help with the fine details. And this is a, I think it's a 36, it's a big roughy tufty one, a pair of scissors and my mat. So get the red wool and bundle it up all nice and tight um, into a ball and then just focus on one side and just getting all the edges in nice and tightly. And then to give it a bit of depth, work your way around the outside, just working in. So there we go. So see he's a little bit higher there. So just work all the way around the outside. And this just makes it stand up a little taller. And that's before you start to um, needle felt the top in and make it all firm. This really doesn't take you that long. And they're adorable little things and um, I can show you, you can do a couple of things with them. You can turn them into a badge or you can um, put them on a hair clip. So they're really versatile, really useful. So there we go, I've needle felted them all over. I was going to show you on the edge, just to make it nice uh, with a sharp edge, a needle felt right down into the cushion all the way through and that gives it that little sharp edge and then you tidy it up. So there we go. So I've decided to put the head on that end, so again I just bundle it all up into a little ball. It's really quite small compared to the head. And the creation of this ladybird came off looking what, uh, of how an actual ladybird looks like from a picture. Um, and I've tried to do it as realistically as possible. So I'm just needle felting that ball in. I'm holding onto the end of it just so that it's easier. You can wear those little protectors. And then I just the little fluff at the end, I just needle felt that in and then I'm going to start to attach him. There we go, so just tap around the edge, make sure it's um, level and it's where you want it to be. If it's wrong, you just pull it off. It's very easy in needle felting. There we go, so he looks about right and then I'm just going to do some firm needle felts all the way through. Next up is the black line down the middle. You're going to try and make, oh no, I just um, filled in a little bit there around his head. I wasn't very happy with it. So I've just filled in a little bit there before we start on the black line. So the black line that goes down the middle sort of represents the separation of the wings. And if you look at them, they really actually don't have a black line at all. There's barely anything there. So if you try and do this as thin as possible, that will make it more realistic. Still going on that bit, just attaching it nice and firm. So twiddle the black wool out, make it as thin as you can, and then I go to the fine needle. I just find this um, helpful just to not over felt the surface. So I attach at one end, then at the other underneath, and then check it straight, and then gently secure it all the way down. Trim off the bit underneath because you don't need legs under there. Especially if it's going to be a badge or something. No one's going to look underneath it that much. There we go. So next we're going to do the two little white bits. They're almost sort of like triangle shape, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. You don't have to be. So you take a tiny amount of white wool, roll it into a little ball, and then gently attach it. Do the other side. Very easy, there they are. Cut off any long bits, don't spend hours needle felting them in if they won't go in. And then this is a little black bit in between the two that um, ladybirds have. If you have a close look at them, you'll see it. So that looks a bit more realistic. Trimming them up, there we go. And next on to the, the um, spots. It's up to you, you can do your spots exactly where you want. I just did them as they were on this picture that I looked at. So I've done a bigger one there on either side and then little 
and then a lower one a bit smaller. Next we're going to do all the white face markings, there we go, I've done them there. The only uh, thing you have to do is the edge two have to be a bit more oval because they are eyes. This is the wax cord, so take out probably about an inch and a half of wax cord, not either end, cut off right close to the knots and that's going to be the antenna. It's going to go on the head, so get some black wool, make it as short as possible and then it's very tricky to hold it all together and do it, but once you've tacked it in, it's fine. So just needle felt either side of the wax cord. Don't worry if you can pull the um, antennae through and make them level afterwards. And then just needle felt the rest of that wool in and it keeps the antennae in nice and secure. And just get rid of the wool that's down the front, needle pat that in, and then you can start to bend and shape the antennae up in here so they look a bit more realistic. And to be honest, that's it. They're very simple, very quick, very easy. You could do some legs if you wanted. I'll show you another one that I did with some pipe cleaner legs. There we go, trimming them up, making them neat, making the antennae stand up, and there we go. Beautiful. So here's three that I did, and then there's a couple that I did at the side, one's a bit bigger and he's got the, oh this is the badge. So I ordered a badge with a nice big round bit to stick the glue on. Any old glue will do. There we go, all purpose glue. Stick the badge on underneath. Or you can do hair clips. I think it looks really good as a little badge. You can put on a school bag, put on a coat. They're the ones I ordered, you get loads for not, not very much, probably about four or five pounds online. And then here's a funny shaped one I did with funny eyes. Yes, I know, <laughs> not my favourite. <laughs> and then here's another one I did with pipe cleaners, the children one. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. See you again soon.